All right, an update for you now on a tragedy that's played out in one Prince George's County community. A suspect accused of firing an AK-47 that killed a two-year-old boy in Langley Park on Thursday. Well, it turns out he was on probation at the time of the murder. That's what we just found out at a court hearing within the past hour and a half. The death of two-year-old Jeremy Cassettis and the wounding of a 17-year-old mom. February 9th, it has stunned the Langley Park community. Both the men arrested in the wake of the shooting have just appeared in court. Our Scott Broom is outside of the Prince George's County Courthouse in Upper Marlboro with more on what we've learned. Hi, Scott. Well, and also just a few moments ago, we spoke with State's Attorney Aisha Brave Boy, who echoed a lot of the concern in the community. We'll get to that in just a moment. First, let's cover what happened in court here within the last two hours. This was a bail hearing, and both 28-year-old Johnny Alejandro Tercios and 33-year-old Israel Fuentes Jr., they're the suspects who've been locked up. They were ordered to be held without bail. No surprise there. In fact, the public defenders representing them simply conceded that they should be kept locked up giving the, given the gravity of this case. Prosecutors noted that Tercios, the younger defendant here, was seen on witness videos holding an AK-47 military rifle that was used in this shooting, according to police, and that that rifle was recovered from the apartment where he was arrested a short time later. They also did note that he was out on probation when all of this happened. Uh, just about 15 minutes ago, State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy spoke with us. She echoed a lot of the shock in the community. But this is a very sad case. It just is. A two-year-old innocent child is dead, gone, didn't have a chance to really fully live a life, to pursue their dreams, to grow up. It's just unreal. All right, so the two individuals who are uh, suspects right now, both of them have extensive criminal histories. We just reported the record for Tercios, the youngest one, shows a conviction for robbery back in 2017. He got a 12-year sentence with 10 years suspended back then. If he'd have served all those years, he'd still be in jail right now, but uh, he began serving probation that very same year and was out on probation when this happened. His co-defendant, 33-year-old Israel Fuentes Jr., also in court today, has a record including accusations of robbery and possession of stolen guns. Now, according to police in this case, these men were together when Tercios got into a shootout with that AK-47 across a grassy area in a really crowded apartment complex Thursday night. The child and his mother were hit. The two-year-old child died in court documents. Investigators report this was a turf battle over selling drugs. What we know is uh, who these suspects, what we do not know, I should report, what we do not know is who these suspects were shooting at. There are other suspects out there that police are still working on. They're not talking about what evidence they have. They haven't announced any arrests, but there was a second batch of 40 caliber handgun shells on the ground near where the victims were hit uh, that were fired by somebody else in this case. And that's a mystery right now. We don't know who these in, those individuals are. Police have no information on that. The family of little Jeremy, they were in court today, but ultimately decided not to speak when it became clear that these two suspects who are locked up are going to be held without bail while all of the court proceedings unfold in the coming days and weeks. But again, we got two other suspects out there that police are looking for, and there is no information on that today. Reporting live at the courthouse in Prince George's County, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Well, Scott, we could all see the emotion coming from Ms. Brave Boy, the county's top prosecutor, and now just echoing what the community there is feeling. We'll stay tuned to you for updates. Thank you.